Welcome back for another book haul. It's gonna be a similar format as last time because I literally, I, I just split the pile into two. So here we are. Fiction first. This is the next next book. So this is A Cup of Holiday Fear. Uh, obviously it's gonna be a Christmas themed one by Ellie Alexander. They're in for a killer Christmas. Dun, dun, dun. These are cozy mysteries. They are not like really like thriller, like oh my, like it's not like reading a Stephen King kind of a like figure out the murder situation. Um, it's it's more casual and chill, but also about murder. I don't know how they pull it off to be perfectly honest, but I love these, it's so fun. It's like a Nancy Drew book, but for adults. And it's, they're just so good, I love them. It's my new favorite genre. And uh, yeah, so thank you to the library for having all like 18 plus of these books. There's a lot in this series. This author, like, she just published a double whammy, which for traditional publishing is like unheard of. She released two together, not in like one book, like this, in this separate situation, just barely. Just was like, you know what, here you go, first two books, bam, there you go, new series, there you go. And it's like, I didn't know traditional publishers would let you do that. So, plus still publishing in these too. I think it's a new series. And she has a different series she's doing too. She has a lot. And also apparently she's like a writer coach. I'm sure she's expensive and I can't afford that. But she has a lot and uh, I love her writing. Like I said, I've been going through the Pagan Portals. So we got another itty bitty Pagan Portals. So this is Celtic Witchcraft. Modern Witchcraft meets Celtic Ways. I don't know how to say this name. But I think the BH is supposed to be a V sound because I think it's Irish. So I'm guessing it's Maeve Savage. I don't know. I'm also very curious. Why is it a starving dog? Like, look at this ribcage situation. Like, it's it's a starving dog. Why is that the cover <laughs> for Celtic Witchcraft? I'm just I'm going to be really honest. Um, when I think of Celtic things, I think like trees and green not a random white dog. Maybe it'll explain why though. Next, I said this last time, I looked up authors. So we actually have a couple from this author. Morgan Dalmer, Dalmer, that one. <laughs> so we have Pantheon, the Norse. I don't know, uh, but I, we'll find out. I was actually just watching like today. I think it actually came out today too. Jackson Crawford, who's like one of the leading people's for like academic versions of the Norse Pantheon. Just made a video kind of dismantling how Neil Gaiman wrote the myths. And I'm gonna be like, to be perfectly honest, dude, I don't know that I care about historical accuracy that much because it's boring. Neil Gaiman made it fun and interesting and brought the myths to life and made it into a cohesive story. You didn't with your translations. So I just, I'm hoping, I hope she goes down the Neil Gaiman route and not completely the Jackson Crawford. I appreciate the historical side of things, but also it was all made up by humans at some point. We can adjust the myths. Just like we have for like Medusa and like uh, Persephone, you know, like we, we're adjusting the myths. It's, there's, was it, I think it's Artemis? Is like her and her sisters, like Athena and Hestia are like the queens of the ace community. Like, we can readjust these myths, y'all. It's okay. So I, I have hopes. I don't think they're gonna be met by this author because her Morrigan book was really boring to me. But maybe. I'm giving it a shot because, like, it's the library. It's free. Why not? Same from the author. We have Fairy, The Other World by Many Names. I'm intrigued. Is it about the Fae? Is it about the deities? Is it gonna be about the ancestors and all of that jazz? Don't know. It's so small. You can't talk about a whole lot because it's... Itty bitty. Honestly, I kind of wish they could publish the word count. I'm just so curious because I feel like it can't be 50,000 words. There's no freaking way. Like, these are so small. It's gotta be like 20 to 30,000 words for these like itty bitty little pamphlet books because like it's not a lot. <laughs> like, even my actually, I could check right now, including all of the blah blah pages of my book. I turned my mouse off because I was recording, so obviously I didn't need it. But, uh, like right now, this one, this one right here, this, let's use this version, this, all of this, this one, this is 
46,589 words as of right now. This compared to this. I just, I personally, because <laughs> it's like, maybe even like, I feel like 20,000 words if we're being generous, which is fine. I love those personally because I can get through books really fast and get my like numbers up, but like they're really small. You can't cover a lot in that short amount of time. Continuing along after that side tangent, here we are, this one. So this is Folkloric American Witchcraft and, Mul and the Multicultural Experience, The Crucible at the Crossroads. I am intrigued. It's by Via Hedera? I don't know names. But I, I am intrigued because like it's a very different experience as an American because like we, it's like go to the land of your ancestors and you're like well my ancestors came from a lot of different places and like that culture feels very alien in comparison. It's super different because like we're not from there. Like the idea of in bulk being spring, that's what I was reading about today in my edits. <laughs> so like, you know, being in spring for February does not line up to what I've experienced my entire life. It's like multiple feet of snow and months of snow still. Like, and let alone just the, the culture's different. It's different. And so like being American, it's also different because like my ancestors come from different states. Like it's just, I hope this book goes through that to be like where you're like all over the place, your ancestors are everywhere, everyone has asshole ancestors. Tell me how to, how, tell me. Next, we've got this one. So this is Fairy Stones, an exploration of the folklore and fairies associated with stones and crystals by, maybe that's pronounced Carrie, Norman. It looks like it, but it also could just not be that word at all. Uh, it's a very different way to spell carry. But yeah, I'm intrigued. Because apparently when I was doing the books <laughs> this time, I went down a fairy rabbit hole. Because sometimes I'll just keyword search and if it's pulling up books, I'm like, cool. Because half the time when I search through my library, it doesn't find them. So when it finds them, I'm like, get it. Because even half the time I can't refind them either. The system with our library here is not great for this county. It's a hot mess for the search option, specifically for witch books, but other ones too, it struggles sometimes. Like, try to find like books from the Dalai Lama because I wanted to read, like he's written books. Do you think I could find that? No. I had to like so many different searches until I finally found one out of the blue. And I was like, all right, so anyways. The next one reminds me, the cover, it's so creepy, but in like such a like, I am intrigued. Look at this, look at this, look at this face. Does that not kind of instill nightmares? Just like a little bit. Cause that's also how we're supposed to look at the goddess hell. That, at least modernly. I kind of feel like as she's progressed through the generations, we've kind of dropped the whole like decomposing flesh of gross. And it's like, yeah, you got upgraded to just a skeleton. <laughs> You know, but even still, it's still creepy as fuck. Like it's just, it's bleh. Anyways, so this is Encountering the Dark Goddess, A Journey into the Shadow Realms by Frances Billinghurst. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. I would love if this is about hell. I really have my doubts. The Norse deities usually stick within their category. Could I read the back of the book? Yes, I don't. Cause again, it's free. So I can just read them and see if I like it. But I'm hoping, if it is about hell, that it's not gonna be like the traditional toxicness that is the Norse community, because they're a lot, it's a lot. It's not a comfy cozy community. So anyways, last book. North Sea Water In My Veins, The Pre-Christian Spirituality of the Low Countries by a name, <laughs> Imdella Am Almquist? Yep, vest. I don't even know, is I don't even know the letters. It's a funky uh, font to begin with. So is that supposed to be like a U or a V? That to me looks like a V. But uh, yeah. So here we go. This one. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Okay. It says. See, I usually don't read the books. Okay, but we have the lower countries can covers pre-Christian material from the Netherlands, Belgium, and the region across the German border. I'm gonna have to look up a map. What the, I, I kind of 
don't remember everywhere that borders German. Like, where all it connects to Germany. I don't know. That's like asking me, like, what states connect to Alabama? I kind of know. have vague ideas of roughly what's in the area. Geography was my least favorite class. So, anyways, I'm intrigued. So yeah, those are all of the books that I have recently got from the library. It was a massive stack <laughs> that me and the hubby grabbed. And he was like, should we go look for more? I'm like, no. I'm pretty close to, I think, the max that I can have out. Because I have like 10 to return. I have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, currently still to read, plus the 17. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think they have a limit of 50. So it's getting real close. So I was like, I'm good, honey. We could come back later and have you just go rampage find the most sporadic books possible. It is fun because a lot of them I cannot just search and find and he just picks the most random books to be like here read this one this one this one this one. Joys of an ADHD witch he, he finds the crazy but sometimes they are good finds so I'll give him credit. But anyways I would love to know your thoughts and what you are currently reading in the comments down below. A huge thank you to my patrons if you would like to support me and get access to exclusive content it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Maybe by the time you see this I'll have the book done and this will be past due but like uh yeah turning the wheel it should be coming soonish or maybe by the time you see this it is out in which case you should buy it. If not, hang tight for like a couple seconds, then you should go buy the book because that would be awesome. I would love to sell some copies of my books because <laughs> I had two returns this month. That's fun. Or like a declined uh, payment, so if you wanted to buy my book, would be cool. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and for supporting and bless me.